So I think the frontier for patients who have ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease regarding therapy is to personalize their care and understand what is different about that person versus another by looking at their genes and by looking at blood tests that may help us determine how they would respond to a treatment or not. That refinement will be extraordinarily helpful because then you'll start to see people who are even younger starting to get a blood test screen if they're concerned or even prior to maybe a colonoscopy that would allow us to separate out a group who we might be a bit more aggressive in doing colonoscopy or a group of patients or people who could wait longer to have the colonoscopy. So the advantage of whatever we're calling personalized medicine is as we are moving to that, it'll change the whole paradigm in insurance companies because if you could actually target the treatment for a specific group of folks, then that would make it would be a major cost savings on all sides. As we understand what are the substances that cause inflammation, that's usually the initial observation that stimulate the companies to want to develop a drug that can block that inflammation. The problem is with the chronic inflammatory diseases, there's so many pathways that that's why one drug will never take care of the whole illness for a group of people, but for one person it might. And bring together research now in better markers of inflammation, whether it's from blood or other bodily fluids, tissue, um, be able to have that for the individual, then we will be able to target the treatments that we have uh, more specifically to the individual, as opposed to say, okay, we'll try this drug, then the next drug, then the next drug, because that's what happens now. Mm -hmm.